Good morning, this is Fritz Pfister. I'm bringing you the Springfield, Illinois Housing Market Report here from the home offices of REMAX Professionals in Springfield. The data I share with you comes from the Capital Area Association of Realtors MLS as reported by member brokers. On this beautiful sunny May day, I have to give you some bad news about April. Uh, the number of sold listings were down by 122 to 271. That's a decrease of 31.04%. Of course, Following a decline of 30% in the sales pendings from March, that was to be anticipated. The number of homes that went under contract were down by 213 or by 33.33% to 426. But that's not all bad because that's compared to an all-time record month due to the home buyer tax credit. Now, compared to the five-year average from 2006 through 2010, uh, the sold and closed were only down by 22% and the sold pendings were down by 16%. So that's an actual improvement. But as you see, sellers have their challenges because we're still running below historical norms, even with interest rates falling below 5% again. Just clear indication that we have fewer jobs adding buyers to the market. And now with gasoline going up to 419 a gallon in Springfield, hee <laughs> uh, it's going to cause a bump in consumer confidence. Between the 67% tax increase, $4.19 gas, and if you've gone to the grocery store lately, you know what I'm talking about. People's disposable income is getting pinched. So we'll see how that impacts the housing market going forward. There's never been a better time to buy. Interest rates 4.875% on 30-year loans and uh, prices falling. In April, they fell by uh, a little bit from 106000 last year to 105000 So the median sales price is down 2.81% year to date. Guess what? That means if you're a buyer out there, you got record low interest rates, you got a great inventory to choose from, and you got... A buyer's market. You don't have much uh, to compete against. So that's the report this week. Great for buyers. Not so good for sellers. Market's down. Hallelujah. Everything goes down. Must come up. So I'll be here when it does and I'll let you know when it happens. Look forward to speaking with you next week.